Hi everyone, welcome back and it's that time again. My Somerset Studio just arrived in the mail today and I haven't even opened it as usual. I like to look through it as I'm on camera looking through it with you. It's a beautiful cover, just gorgeous. You can see so much texture in this, the paint and thing that you can see in there. I'm not sure what it's made of, but it's beautiful. Okay, let's go, flip through. So. If you've ordered this, then I suggest that you don't watch the video if you want a surprise when yours arrive, which hopefully yours, if you live in Australia, should be arriving today or tomorrow. Great, fabulous, love it already. This is gorgeous, little houses. Been making lots of little houses lately. Lots of articles as usual. I keep these books and I look through them again and again. I love this. That is gorgeous. So we've got a lovely one. This is by my, by my favourite artist, one of my favourite artists, Lynn Moncrief. She usually has something in most of these magazines and it's just lovely. Her work is just so recognisable, but everything's also really different each time she does it. Love this. So I'll be sitting down with a cup of tea later and enjoying this just beautiful then we've got this one this that one layers and buttons and threads okay no it's a book because I can see the rings on the journal okay so I have to have a good read up and of course the papers that they put in are always lovely I have used them before and I must get some more out and try and use them up because that's really, really pretty. And this one too. And then we go into this, which is Mixed Media Necklaces by Kat Kerr. Okay, and then we've got this one. Also Mixed Media. A lot of Mixed Media things in this one, I think. Very hard to draw faces. I've tried before and I'm not great at it. But it's fun to try things, isn't it? They're very cute. <laughs> Male art, lovely. Leather journals, look at the size of them, they're miniature. How cute are they? And then we've got the usual papers that they put in there for you to try things. Paper quilts, okay. That's all sewn between each block, that's interesting. one here. I like the hearts with the wire around them. That's lovely too. Capturing inspiration with vision journals. Okay. Oh, I just read the first thing she said there is I am a list maker. I'm a list maker too. I'm always making lists for everything. Keeping track of things with lists and one of my favourite things to do. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, and that's the um, other one blown up into one of the papers that you can use. These papers are like super thick too. So you could also use those in your mixed media because of how thick they are. Much thicker than the actual paper here. It's very cute. What is this one? I'm not sure. It looks like some sort of stamping or paint. Acrylic paint under hot press watercolour paper. Okay, right, okay. Have to have a good read and see what that was all about. Vintage ditty boxes. They're cute. <laughs> it must only be tiny because you can see the thimble and the buttons in that one. Some more pages to try things out on. More houses. Houses are very popular at the moment. Oh, this is a gel plate. She's done that with a, some of it with a gel plate. It says so there. Oh, here's the front cover. Just beautiful. How gorgeous is this? That's 
that's lovely too. And that's the one that was inside the front cover, that's gorgeous. More houses. That's another one of the artist papers and so is this. Just reading what this one's about, Dialed Up by Michelle Ward. It's interesting, isn't it? Some patterns and doodles to work on. it's Easter so this one's about eggs I'm guessing that's because of Easter it's another one of the artist papers it'd be good for an Easter thing wouldn't it and this is an artist paper as well it's another one by Lynn Moncrief So cute, the paper quilts. <laughs> and this is a detail one. I love these pages because you really get to look in close at what's happening on each of the things. I like to sit there and look back at the original piece and then examine what this bit's about, just so you can really see up close what's happening. Just gives you a different perspective, I think. Now I did actually get a version not of this magazine but of one of their magazines in digital format and it was a freebie but I didn't really like it. I mean I liked being able to look through it and read the articles but there's just something about being able to touch the pages and that sound of flicking through a magazine and you know actually having it there if I want to refer to it I can just you know go open it up really quickly and think oh yeah that's what I was looking at once you know there's just something about the paper so and that's why I'm not getting it digitally although I could and it would be much quicker but of course you know it's about the same price anyway probably to get it in the digital format as it is in the paper format so I think I'd rather have the paper format also you of course don't can't get the artist papers to use and there's just something about being able to go through and perhaps put a post-it note on the page or something that you can then say, well, that's the one that I want to come back to, you know, so that you want to have a look at something again and go through and flick it and have a look. Here's some more of those close-ups that I like. So that's a really interesting book. I love the colours in here, the blues and the browns. They're really, really pretty. Just beautiful. And it does say on the front cover that there is unique ways to use metal, encaustics, leather and more. So I'm sure some of that must be encaustic because they mention it there. And it's just beautiful. So that's it for today. Just a flip through of Somerset Studio for you. For those who um, perhaps don't buy it or can't buy it or 
live in Australia and don't want to wait for it for ages. Actually, this one came really quickly compared to last month, which I feared wouldn't arrive at all. This one has been super quick. It's only end or heading toward the end of March. So that's pretty good. This is the February, March, April 2021 issue. We didn't get the um, November, December, January one until I think it was very early February, maybe even past that when that one came. So super happy that it's in my mailbox today and I know what I'll be doing on the weekend. I'll be sitting around having a read through this, perhaps enjoying some of the sunshine that's come out now with the rain having eased and probably gone away for a little while. So I hope that you enjoyed that flip through. And this is Deborah. Thank you very much for joining me today. Cheers.